beautifully braided amazing new greeting cards. Hello, I'm Joanne of Crafting Inspirations and Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator here in Newfoundland, Labrador, Canada. Um, please remember if you like this video or know anyone who would appreciate this video, please share and tag them uh, in this video. Uh, and remember to subscribe to my channel. I will be posting uh, weekly videos on my latest crafting creations. Uh, so let's begin with our project for this week. It is a greeting card. Um, I'm just going to flip the camera over here now so that we can get started. Hopefully she comes into Zoom correctly. And sorry for the jiggling. I'm just going to lower it down so that you can see the paper a little bit better. So there we go. So I will be using the two stamp sets from the Stampin' Up! and Made For You catalog. And this is what the catalog looks like. And the very first one is the Beautifully Braided Bundle. And that can be found on page 29. And the bundle includes a braided border punch and a beautifully braided uh, polymer stamp set. And in order to order this, the order code for this is 153821. And it's 4750 here in Canada. And the other stamp that I will be using is Thanks for the laughs, and that's found on page 11. And this is a cling stamp style, and it has 10 cling stamps. And the order code for this is 151670, and this is $29. And if you'd like to have a calendar, please reach out to me. You can reach out to my webpage at Joanne Johnson at stampinup.net. So that's J O N A N N J O H N S O N at stampinup.net. And um, you can also view my videos on Facebook, which is going to be duplicated. I'm just going to move this out of the way. So, our choice of colors tonight is Sarah San. This is our base. And this is cut at five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. And I'm just going to take a second to varnish this here now. And then we've got two pieces of uh, Clips of Coral. And they're measured at five and a quarter by four. And then we've got two pieces of Very Vanilla, which measures five by three and a quarter. So I'm just going to take the base and the clips of curl aside and we're going to stamp on these, but our card is going to be landscape. So I'm going to flip my paper over and then I'm going to bring in the polymer stamp from the beautiful Braided. And because this is on a big, uh, big flower, I'm going to leave my, my stamp pad, my acrylic block facing up with this stamp onto it. And I'm going to ink down with clips of curl. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the middle one first and I'm going to turn it on its side and I'm just going to lay it down and press. So we want to do straight down and straight up and make sure that it's all down and let the paper absorb the ink and straight up. And now what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to put this one down in the corner. This is the inside of our card and this is the front of our card. So I just, where it was stamped off already, I just wanted a light image. So it's just a little bit lighter than the front of our card. So in the beautiful braided stamp set, there was a smudge, I call it a smudge. So what we want to do I'm just going to move this one out of the way for now, is we're going to ink it up. And where the flower is a little bit bigger, I'm going on three. And because I did three, and where this is a lighter image, and we stamped off, I'm just going to stamp off once on there. 
So we're going to go here. One more. And then stamp off. We're just introducing a little bit of color on the inside of our card. So once again, there we go. And one more. And I'm just going to do that one there lately. So that is it then for the stamping here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this up, our ink pad. And I'm going to get a piece of uh, Clips of Curl. And I'm going to take, this is a full page, five and a half by eight and a half. And then I'm going to bring out the punch. I'm going to put these two aside. And then what I'm going to do, there's markings on the punch. And I'm going to put the paper in so that it reaches there, but it's flush along this side here as well. So I'm going to bring it in. Punch. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it down so that it matches and it's still flush. So that it matches up to the design that's on the punch. And then bring it down again. You're just moving it down just a little bit each time. And this should be... And there we go. So we're just going to do this one more time. And you have to forgive me, I've got a touch of the flu. Or the cold so you might hear me sniffing a little bit or clearing my throat so like I said you just bring it down and match it up to the design and one last time so there And then I'm going to bring out our guillotine little trimmer. And you get this when you become a demonstrator. When you sign up during the celebration period, which is March, uh, February 1st to March the 31st, uh, you'll get this guillotine cutter as a part of signing up as a demonstrator. So this is only good for up to four and a quarter. And we need... This measures three and three quarters, so we need to take it up to three and three quarters. So that's one piece. And three and three quarters. And it's a great time to join up as a demonstrator. Uh, you, because you can purchase, um, you purchase it for $135. And you get $165 of product in value. And you get that little guillotine cutter. You get 48 designer series paper. And this is a sampler of what you would get. And you get a, a stamp choice of your choice from either catalog. Either the annual or the uh, homemade. The one that I showed you at the beginning of this video. So now in this, in the uh, beautifully braided stamp set, there was like a um, little lattice with the uh, little polka dots. So I'm going to take the Sierra Sam and I'm going to ink up my stamp. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to overwrite and put little, looks like little um, stitching onto the lattice so there we go and if you have stamparatus you can certainly use a stamparatus but I 
find this is easy enough to do it by freehand. The Stamparatus is a pretty neat uh, tool if you're doing multiple cards of the same. You just lay your paper in and it's magnetized or there's a magnets that come with it so that you can just stamp and re-ink and go forward. Some of you might hear my daughter and my dog in the background. She just came home. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach these here like so. And I'm going to get our silicone mat that's stamping up as the hopper. And one good thing with the stamping up silicone mat is that the adhesive doesn't stick to it. So you don't get your project all sticky. So I'm just going to um, get rid of any excess of adhesive that's in these circles. And then I'm going to attach it. I'm going to use my grid paper so that I know that it's uneven. That it's on the paper even, not uneven. So I'm going just to go back. Oh, and you might hear my dog bark now. Nope, nope, she didn't bark. My daughter just left again. She just comes home and goes again. And there we go. Oh, she gave my dog a treat, so that's why she never barked. So, there we go. And now I'm going to stamp our image. I got a piece of scrap, piece of uh, very vanilla. And I'm going to stamp that in Calypso Curl. And the stamp set I'm using is the Thanks for Laughs. And the sentiment I'm going to be using is I often think about you, um, sorry, I often think about how amazing you are. So this is great for a friend that you can give to. So then I'm gonna close this up. Actually, I'm going to leave that open and I'm gonna use the sentiment inside. And inside, the sentiment reads, today you got it in writing. So there we go. So I often think about how amazing you are. Today you get it in writing. So there's enough room there, then you can certainly leave a note for your friend. So I'm just gonna close it up out of the way. Then I'm getting the pretty label punch. And I'm going to punch out our sentiment and then I've got a piece of scrap piece of clips of curl that I'm punching out and Sarah Sam so what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer these up like I would with our uh, paper so Sarah Sam Lips will curl, and I'm just leaving a little bit of a margin, and then snail, and then I'm leaving a little bit of a margin here so that you can see it. So just a little bit of Sierra Sand, Clips of Curl, and very vanilla. And I'm going to put these on with Stampin' Up Dimensionals. Now, Stampin' Up Dimensionals comes in two forms, the large size, and the minis. I find the minis is great when you've got little small uh, stamp sets or animals that they have in their, some of their stamp sets. But I'm using the large one. Oh, and I'm just taking the Take Your Pick tool to get the top off. I'm bringing back the card base. And I'm just going to layer our sentiment here. Flip it over and put some snail onto it. And one good thing with Stampin' Up uh, products is they coordinate with each other so well. Like their paper and their inks all match up wonderfully and all that kind of stuff. I've been a crafter most of my life, ever since I was a teenage girl. And I tend to come back to stamping and stamping up products. Uh, because it's so easy, uh, it kind of takes the guesswork out of um, 
your prep time because all the colors and in the catalogs uh, with DSP, which is designer series paper, the uh, the paper matches up with the the ink pads, the other card stock and all that kind of stuff. So it takes the guesswork out. So, and now the inside, we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to butt that up. Like so. Oh, well, my dog has come into the room, so you'll hear her toenails clicking on the floor, and she's eating some scraps of paper. So this is our card. Now we can certainly had some. Uh, what can we add to that? Let me see what I've got. Just to add a little bit of jazz. Um, we'll get some of these rhinestones. They're champagne rhinestones. It's in the new catalog as well. So, and at the other end is sticky. I just got to push it up. Oh, it's not working for me tonight. There we go. And I'm just going to attach three. Kind of made a boo boo, so I'm just going to put it there to highlight. Not to highlight, but to cover it up. And there. That is our card completed for tonight. Now I'm just going to flip her back up again. Oh. oh, there you see all my punches and everything. All right, now wasn't that card lovely? It was nice and bright and colorful. It'd be nice to send off to a close friend, dear friend of yours, to tell her how, tell him or her how amazing she is or him. Um, as I said in my video, I will, I will be doing videos weekly. Uh, so if you like this video, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel so that you can get notifications of uh, new videos being posted. And I just wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you and come back next week. Bye-bye.